Hello all, welcome to Clark Technologies and we are very happy to announce that we are going to provide a free course for MuleSoft for all the freshers and beginners and who want to learn MuleSoft from scratch. This is entirely free course which we are going to uh, release on day by day basis. So uh, it, it will be a 30 days course. So it is very um, helpful for you to learn MuleSoft from scratch. And we have explained uh, this course with the real time project. We have built a real time project also. In order to explain that, we have created a couple of files and uh, projects, uh, project code as well. So if you want to get those files and uh, fi um, projects please email us with this subject line request to share level 1 course file also we have an important announcement that we are planning to release a MuleSoft advanced level 2 course very soon so in this course we will be discussing most of the topics of uh, MuleSoft uh, which will help you uh, very well in order to complete level 2 certification as well as uh, to work on complex real-time projects as well so I hope uh, you will be uh, enjoying that course as well so if you want to know more details about advanced level course uh, please contact us uh, via mobile or email we will be sharing those details so without further delay let's get started uh, in this session we are going to discuss about uh, error handling which is the part of uh, I mean main thing in any uh, software uh, code which is very in uh, heart actually heart of any system so if you if you if you develop any uh, code error handling is the main thing even it is java or ccpp now in mulesoft or any other integration platform anything if you develop anything if you uh, implement anything error handling is the main stuff so we have to pay more attention for this error handling stuff how we can handle the errors and how we can achieve this in mulesoft so as part of this session we will uh, cover these topics so what is error handling and uh, we will see in depth and we will uh, discuss about on error propagate on error continue and rise error try crash scope with uh, real time examples and we will see all the global error handling and, and uh, different error handling uh, strategies and all and we will see all the hands on hands on uh, session because uh, this session is completely hands on session to uh, discuss all these uh, types and strategies in, uh, and all so you will uh, you should pay more attention so the, there is less less theoretical part here okay so let's get started and uh, it is very important a topic for um, any coding language which is error handling so if you find if you have any errors how you are going to handle in your code so let's see how we can do that in MuleSoft okay so before we enter into how to handle uh, errors in uh, MuleSoft uh, we will see what are the uh, basics about it so what is error what is error handling what are the different types of error so once you are familiar with this then you will be uh, easily understand uh, how uh, MuleSoft is handling the errors and all okay so let's start with what is an error so in general what is an error so if you uh, used um, correct functionality in a wrong way or if you are uh, receiving a negative response for the expected functionality which is I mean unexpected negative response of unexpected functionality you can say say for example in your mobile phone you, uh, you will uh, lock with the pattern or uh, any uh, fingerprint or um, any password or pin right so to open your pass, uh, phone I mean to unlock your mobile you have to enter the correct details right so for example you have entered wrong pin or you have used another finger uh, which you have not registered as part of security so if you if you try uh, more than two or three times what will happen it will uh, it will actually block that uh, particular security and it, it will send you a message it will show you a message like too many attempts uh, so you have used a wrong password for uh, too many attempts so we are disabling this functionality for some time or you are unable to unlock your phone this is locked password is locked like that you will get some message right so what is that message that is nothing but error message error response so to handle any error error handling means uh, see error handling means you are not going to fix the error at that time you are actually intimating the users you are actually uh, um, informing the users like what happened wrong 
So in our mobile case example, it will clearly mention too many attempts with wrong pin. So we are disabling this functionality. By read this message, you will understand. Uh, okay, I have entered a wrong pin or I have used a wrong finger to um, unlock my phone. So that is the mistake. So next time you will uh, use the right pin or you can uh, use the right finger to open that uh, mobile to unlock it. Right. So like what is error handling means you are handling different type of errors by sending um, a meaningful recovery uh, procedure on meaningful response to the end user with the required details right so that user can fix it from the end if there is a data mistake from the end or developer can uh, fix that from the end as it is a, if it is an implementation mistake if implementation error so like that so error handling means you are not going to fix that you are actually sending a meaningful response with all the required details or recovery processes to the end user okay so what is different uh, type of uh, errors in the coding language maybe in mule software maybe in java in the cpp what are the different types of errors you can, you, you can expect so these are all the types of errors one is message level errors second one is system level errors so for example what is message level er message level errors so if any message is involved in that uh, particular error it will nothing but message level errors for example if you are going to uh, logged in to any point platform let's say this example itself okay so let me log in into any point platform i mean cloud hub these are all my credentials right credentials means my username and my password let me uh, enter a wrong username and click on sign in what is what you expect your it is throwing an message this is nothing but error message what is the error message you are getting your credentials are not valid so by reading this message it, because this is user friendly format of message okay so by reading this message you can understand what you have did so your credentials are not valid maybe those credentials are expired or that you have entered wrong username and wrong password right so here the message is involved any data is involved yes so here username and password is nothing but message so it is involved so this kind of errors is known as message level errors wherever any data any message is involved in your error which will cause the error it will nothing but message level errors so another method another uh, type of error is system level errors before you logged in into system or before you send any message or receive any message if you have any kind of errors like uh, connectivity issues or connecti um, connectivity issue to database if you are unable to um, connect that database or if you are unable to uh, use that particular website maybe that website is down for some time or maybe the database credentials are changed that is uh, uh, another point but you if you have any system level uh, sorry connectivity issues in uh, jms provider or uh, database these are all few examples those are called system level errors there there is no message involved only connectivity established errors are involved so in our case itself you can say like uh, any point.mulesoft.com is the actual url let's say we have another url we have implemented uh, for example the mulesoft hyphen test dot uh, dot com something login so let's say this is another url which they have developed but now if you can see if you enter it you will find some uh, error like the site cannot be reached because you are unable to connect to that particular site this kind of errors here we didn't send any message we have just used that uh, url and clicked enter so or if you if you have any issues like connecting to database or connecting to any other third party uh, service which are nothing but system level errors i hope you understand the difference between these two types of uh, errors okay so now you understood uh, what are the different types of errors even uh, with that we, we are actually classified classified different types of errors uh, which are nothing but these uh, common three types of errors in mule soft okay business errors first thing uh, what are what are the different type of errors comes under business error classification is data related errors or validation errors data related errors means uh, we have just seen you have entered a wrong details uh, wrong credentials and all so that is uh, nothing but data related errors or if you have given a wrong pin 
to you unlock your phone that is data related um, error so what are the validation errors for example uh, while filling a online form uh, in the form of uh, mobile field you have entered your name for example because mobile field is accepting only numbers but you have entered characters a b c d characters you have entered with your name so that is nothing but validation errors because it will do the validation like mobile number will have only numbers only digits okay but you have entered characters which is nothing but validation errors so like that those two types of errors will come under business errors in general then technical errors any connectivity errors like we have discussed while connecting to database or any other connector if you are facing any issue if you uh, had any connectivity error uh, that is nothing but connectivity type of error okay another one is this is specific to mule soft data with expression related errors so uh, we have not yet covered our actual the data view session as of now but uh, we have used some of the data view expressions like uh, while reading the uri parameters while uh, display the payload we have used some syntax right attributes dot uh, query param start that query param names and all so if you have uh, did any mistake in that data view expression syntax and all it will throw an error while running the code so those type of errors are nothing but technical errors okay so another one is this is also specific to mule soft api kit router errors so if you can if you remember we have imported a uh, raml to our studio and we have uh, uh, generated api kit router let me open the studio uh, in the meanwhile so we have uh, actually uh, we have generated all the flows uh, which are related to um, raml right we have uh, relate uh, generated the flows once you generate the flows it will show uh, it will i mean by default it will generate couple of uh, error blocks if you remember api kit uh, connectivity error api kit bad request my studio is getting opened just have a look at it so these are all the different kind of errors which are generated by default see and at the time of uh, error handling section in the error handling section uh, these are all the default errors which are generated by using raml by using api kit router so see bad request api kit not found api method these are specific to api specific to your rest api those kind of errors are now called as api kit router errors and if you have faced any other errors errors other than this uh, classification we have to handle those unknown errors also Uh, in our uh, code okay so whenever an error is created error is created whenever you faced any uh, error whenever you have any error an error object is created in mule soft so in general uh, mule message will have only two parts we have already seen that uh, mule every mule message will have two parts one is attributes another one is payload right so that is for success case if you find if you have any error in the flow if you uh, experienced any exception in your flow it will create a new error object new object which is called error so it will have all the error related details in that particular object and it has couple of fields by using the particular field name you will get the specific error detail so it has lot of fields we will see uh, in our next slide so whenever an error is uh, created the top error object is created whenever an error occurs in your flow but in successful uh, but in success scenario you cannot see this error in your data view so while debugging uh, your application you will see this mule message error object if you have any errors in your flow we will see that later once we have started the hands on session okay so these are all the different components of uh, error object which are nothing but uh, field names see here we have error dot field name by using this syntax you you will get the uh, details about the error okay so like that what are the different fields what are the different selector expressions you have so we have a description error type detailed description cause error message and child errors these are all the major fields and even into these all these fields we have to concentrate we have to focus on description and error type these are all the major two fields we are going to use in our real time projects uh, in very uh, frequently the, we can use all these uh, other fields also but these two we can use very frequent manner okay so let's see one by one so what is error dot description will tell you if you ha if you want to get description of the error you should use this syntax to get that um, uh, error description and if you want to get what type of error you are getting so you have to use error dot error type with this syntax this is syntax specific to mulesoft 
uh, this is nothing but a MUL syntax, MUL expression language syntax. But in data view, you have to call directly error dot error type. We will see all these things once we have started hands on. As I said earlier, uh, this session is uh, majorly we, we will have hands on other than the theoretical explanation. Okay, this is the only time, only uh, video you will find theoretical explanation. Next time, uh, next video onwards, we will see all the hands on sessions. Okay, so error type this object, this field will have all the type error uh, type related uh, details. So, use it to characterize the problem and allow the uh, routing within the error handler because based on the error type only, it will uh, go to that particular error handle handler flow and it will uh, uh, execute the code in that particular flow and it will send you the response so if you want to see more details about your uh, error you can have uh, error uh, detailed description and the cause is it will show a java thread so it, it we cannot understand this it will um, uh, show display java thread whenever if you have any um, specific uh, requirement like you have to catch that particular java throwable result you can use this error message is an optional message which mule soft will send you as part of error object if you have uh, um, any aperiodic connectivity, something, uh, any other uh, specific errors, you will find at least few details about this error message. It is optional field. You cannot get this uh, details every time. Okay. So error dot child errors. Child errors is a field uh, where you will get all the uh, optional collection of inner errors. You can say, uh, for example, scatter gather uh, will use in general scatter gather flow will use this. Uh, error details what is scatter gather that is a different topic uh, scatter gather is a specific component a unique component available in uh, MuleSoft, which will uh, use it to uh, execute the parallel flows you, you can execute um, uh, any, as many as flows parallelly if you have that requirement so that is a different topic so if uh, the error dot child errors will be very useful in kind of uh, scatter gather flows and all right so what is the uh, major properties you have so as we said uh, earlier we have to concentrate on error description and error type uh, first of all so, error description is a text message which where you will find a complete description of your error so what error type will contain uh, so let's see error type actually in general error type will have two different parts one is namespace another one is identifier so for example if you can see http colon unauthorized uh, this is namespace this is identifier validation colon invalid number this is uh, a namespace this is identifier so what is this namespace and identifier uh, i will explain you by using this api kit router errors first then we will come back to this slide so uh, let's see uh, this is the type uh, for if these are all the generated by default right so we have not done all this code we are getting this uh, code uh, by default once you import the design, uh, raml from the design center right so this is one kind of error just to see what is the error type api kit colon not found this is one error type another type of error is api kit colon bad request so wherever but if you can observe one thing here for all the errors the namespace is same api kit colon api kit colon api kit colon which means by using the namespace we can understand uh, what connector is throwing error so here if you can observe this is related to all api kit router errors so that is why it has added api kit as a namespace it is a common uh, namespace for all the api kit router errors so by using the namespace you can understand which connector is through the error so that is useful for that case what is identifier by using the identifier you can observe what type of error you are getting okay so api kit colon bad request you can understand uh, in this way right api kit okay this is thrown thrown by i mean this er error is thrown by api kit router and what type of error it is it is a bad request means you have missed some input values and and all so uh, another one is api kit colon method not allowed api kit is a namespace by using this you can understand this error is thrown by api kit router component uh, identifier is method not allowed so by using this identifier you will understand what type of error it is so method not allowed it means you have used wrong method like that like that it you can uh, use uh, you can understand by using the error type field you will understand what type of error it is and what connector through thrown that error so for example here http colon unauthorized because http is a namespace you can understand like this uh, error is thrown by http connector uh, 
and unauthorized means you have used wrong credentials like that so we have to focus on error type and error description in every error we are getting okay so that's it for uh, this video so in this video we have discussed error what is error what is error handling and the classification types and what are error objects uh, details and all. so just try to focus on these things uh, let's uh, meet in another video where we will discuss about more in uh, error handling strategies of uh, uh, mulesoft uh, one by one by doing a hands on session i hope you understand uh, this video you like this video okay uh, thank you uh, please practice and let's meet in another video to be uh, to give you overview we have different uh, three different error handling strategies available in uh, mulesoft uh, which is application level error handling flow level error handling processor level error handling okay so if you have application level error handling which means uh, if you have any error handling uh, uh, details in your application if any error occurred in your throughout the application regardless of component regardless of the flow if any er error occurred in uh, throughout your application uh, this application strategy i mean this error handling strategy will handle so we have two types in that default error handler global error handler we will see one by one uh, in our hands on session okay so next one flow level error handling so flow level error handling means if any error occurred uh, in specific flow so for example say if any error occurred in this uh, get all bus details flow this flow error handling will handle that particular error okay thus every flow will have uh, common i mean every flow will have uh, three sections we have discussed earlier right source processes and error handling so by using this error handling section you can write all the error handling details here so any error occurred in this flow that will be handled by this flow specific error handling section itself so those type of uh, strategies is called flow level error handling okay so every flow will have its own error handling so every any error occurred in that particular flow it will handle by their own so in that flow level error handling we have different types which is on error continue on error propagate write error actually these three are components we are going to use these three components in this global error handler also because in mulesoft to discuss about any error handling we have three these three are the major components on error continue on error propagate rise error if you can see here if you can um, i mean this is in any, in any point studio if it search for an error see you will see four things error handler this is a uh, used for global error handler and in general for all the flow level error handling you will see three different components on error continue on error propagate rise error so we will see one by one uh, once you start once we start the demo okay uh, there we will discuss in detail so another one is processor level error handling uh, for this we have only one scope uh, try catch scope uh, let's search that also so you can search with the try this is nothing but try catch scope by using this we can handle uh, errors specific to processor processor is nothing but uh, all the any component drag and drop here in the processor section which will be called as a processor okay so for example uh, you can see you can i'll, I'll just uh, drag and drop a flow every flow will have three sections right source process and error handling so you uh, you have to write all the error handling code here in this error handling section and here after this dotted line you will see uh, process right so any component you have drag and drop here because we have to use uh, different components uh, here in the process section based on your project business requirement so any any component you have drag and drop here in the process section which is called as processor so if you want to handle uh, error errors specific to that processor you can use try catch scope it's purely depends on your requirement your project requirement if your client says you have to handle uh, errors specific to this connector for example uh, uh, database connector you can say uh, insert okay so if uh, you have to handle specific errors related to this database connector itself that won't be applicable for your flow that won't be applicable for your application you have to handle errors specific to this uh, processor you can use uh, try catch scope in the try catch scope you can drag and drop this connector and you can handle that we will see that also but just to give you overview uh, i have given this example 
okay so i'm actually deleting this one because this is not the valid one okay so yeah these are all the different strategies available in mule we will see one by one in detail once we start the hands-on i hope you understand different strategies let's see in another video hello so to demonstrate this uh, error handling i have created a new application uh, i have uh, created uh, by using like the hello world example which we have done earlier so file new new mule project and in that new mule project i have named it as error handling demo and there is no raml and all for this because this is a fresh new mule application we no need to import uh, uh, raml or anything so i just created a new project just like hello world project here i have used uh, um, uh, I have designed this flow in order to demonstrate the error handling. So I have used HTTP listener. I just drag and drop the HTTP listener here. So to save some time, I have actually designed this um, earlier. So uh, just drag and drop the uh, HTTP listener here under the source section. So here my path is error demo and, um, and I have the port I have given 8087. Okay, and I would like to validate and I would like to uh, frame the form like in this way. So port, localhost and error demo and one query parameter I am going to send which is contact which is nothing but the number query parameter. So we have already seen what are the query parameters and all in our previous session. If you are uh, new to this just uh, uh, visit that video and uh, uh, recap once. So anything you find, any key value files you find after the uh, question mark in your URL, you will you can treat it as query parameter. So here my query parameter is contact and the value should be any number, any integer number. Okay. So that is my code. I would like to uh, actually validate that code. So to in order to give the success response, I should send a number here. So uh, if, if I send number to this contact query parameter, then my flow should success. Otherwise, it should fail. Okay. So as of now, I have defined only success flow. If you observe here, this is the error handling section where we are going to write our error, all error handling related code here. But as of now, this is empty because I, I didn't add anything here as of now. I have just designed this flow. And here, the response I need to get in this way. You know, this is by using transform view message. I just drag and drop the transform view message here. I mean, transform message here. And by default, it would be Java, right? We have already seen that. So I have changed it to JSON. And I have given one uh, just uh, status equal to 200 response is success. I have given it manually. So now this is the one you have to concentrate here, the validation module. Because listener transform message we have already seen. So what is this is number? This is actually validation module available in MuleSoft. It will validate all the payload or query parameters or variables against your uh, input value in order to provide you um, the valid uh, true or false response. So if you can search here um, validation, okay, it, it, these are all the different operations available for this validation module. So this is it will be already added to your uh, Mule project. You don't need to add it manually. So validation module will be already there in your uh, project. So just to drag and drop, these are all the different operations of this validation module. Here I have used is number. So I just drag and drop the is number validation here. Why? Because my requirement is to validate the query parameter value. So if I send any name value, name as I mean any characters uh, for this contact query parameter, it should fail. If I send any number parameter, it should success. So what this validation module will do uh, is the is number operation. What um, I have just drag and drop the is number operation from here to there. What it will do? It will just uh, check the input value. And if it is a number, it will send a true. So if it is true, it, the successful flow will ex uh, execute it. Uh, if you send a, other than a number, if you send any special characters or any other uh, any other uh, ABCD characters and all, it should send false. It will display false. So it will go to error handling section. The success response you won't get. So let's see one by one. So what are there in this validation module? Just double click on it. As I said earlier, I have to, uh, I would like to uh, actually uh, check the contact uh, query parameter, right? So we have already seen uh, how to read the query parameters. So by default, this is empty. You need to just click on this function button. So by default, uh, this function won't be uh, selected. So you need to just select, uh, click the function button. Then this button will be blue. 
now you will uh, give your uh, query parameter syntax here so attributes dot query params dot contact here contact is my query parameter uh, so i would like to check this so that is the expression i have given so what it will do it will take from the url uh, it will check the contact value here if it is number it will send true otherwise it will send false so that's it for this flow I hope you understand uh, my flow and uh, what are the different components are going to do here. So let's uh, run this application and let's see uh, how we can test it and how we can do that. And one more thing I have added here, number type equal to integer. Here um, it is uh, it is having different uh, data types also available here. I just selected integer here because I am going to send contact number as an integer, just a normal number. Okay. so. To understand this clearly, let's uh, run this in a debug mode. We have already seen how to debug your application, right? So let's uh, run this application in debug mode and let's see uh, all the steps involved. Okay, so just right click your application and uh, go to debug as new application. So it will take some time to uh, deploy your application. Let me just stop and uh, start the server again. So right click on your application, go to debug guess. New application. Okay, so it will run in a debug mode. So once this is deployed, I'll resume the video because it will take some time. Uh, so let's wait. Okay. The scenario what we are going to test here is like first we need to uh, test the success scenario. Okay, you do you want to open this mule debugger? Yes, click on yes. So now your debugger uh, will uh, come. So uh, for the first time, mule debugger will be shown here. You need to drag and drop to here, which we have already seen in our debugging session. Okay. So I think it's still deploying. Yeah. So what we are going to test here in this video is we will test the positive flow, success flow first, because uh, uh, it means like we need to send the valid values and we need to test it. And uh, we need to test another scenario. Instead of number, we will send uh, some uh, text or some name. Let's see how it will behave because we have not implemented error handling here. So if we didn't implement any error handling by our own, how the mule will respond? So that is the scenario we are going to see. So if you go to console, it is deployed. So let's uh, test it once. Let's see how it will behave. So to test that application, you need to go to Postman. So here your URL is uh, HTTP colon slash slash localhost. Sorry. Uh, localhost my port is 8087 slash error demo and my query parameter is contact and I have to give some value any value is fine so this is my uh, URL right you know how to frame the URL and all we have already seen it okay now let's uh, test this let's uh, run this application so you have sent the uh, click on send button right but you, you won't get response uh, uh, immediately because we are running this in debug mode so if you go to mule debugger one uh, mule event is getting created see i have a point i mean i have given a debugger point here breakpoint here i have added breakpoint here okay so that control is there now so whenever you see this uh, uh, black dotted uh, one it means the control is there here all the previous connectors are getting executed now it, it is it, the control is here so once you click next this uh, this connector will execute then it will send the response to next connector so likewise you can debug uh, one by one so now my control is under this validation module is number so what are their previous values i mean what are the payload what is the attributes uh, till the previous connector we can observe here see this is the validation module so what are all the attributes available you can just expand this just come down see you have one query parameter size is one so it means one query parameter is there let's expand this see if you can see observe here contact this is the query parameter and the value is two three four eight three two six four which we have sent just now 
So it took that query parameter from your uh, request URL and it is showing here. So it is successfully able to read that query parameter. So while the control is here in the validation module, all the details available previously we can see here. So we have one query parameter. Do we have any variables here? Uh, we have not created any variables, right? So you don't see any variable size is zero for all the URI parameters size is zero because we don't have any URI parameters and all. So as of now, we have one query parameter, which is contact that is so till here, the flow is getting success. If any error is there, the dotted line will uh, color will change to red. So as of now, there is no error. Let's move to next processor. So this one you have to uh, uh, click here to move to next processor. So just click here. See now W dotted line is moved to next processor. It means all the previous connectors are getting executed. Now the control is here in this processor. So let's see what is available here. Uh, I think uh, pretty almost uh, same because we don't have, uh, we didn't change anything, right? Here we are actually tracking, uh, validating that uh, query parameter. So you, you don't expect anything new here. Uh, okay, so there is no error as of now. So let's uh, click on next processor. That's it. There is no control because all the processes we are getting executed. So you, you will you can expect some response here in Postman. So if you go back to Postman, see now. So the response is status 200. Response is success. And here status code is also 200. Okay. Uh, so because this response, this Postman response, we have configured here in our uh, transform message. So that the same response it is sending here. So the success flow we have um, tested. Um, successfully we have tested the positive flow now now let's generate an error let's see how the mule will behave if we don't have any error handling uh, uh, code here okay to test that uh, you just send uh, any characters here instead of the number and let's see how this will behave let's do that so let's test the negative scenario now uh, let's send uh, any characters other than this uh, number uh, so now I have given uh, clarity uh, demo which is the characters which is not the number so it should fail uh, let's send the request and let's see how the debugger will uh, show all the values so once we send that it is showing uh, um, I mean it is showing all the details because now the control is here in the validation module all the previous contest is executed so earlier the query parameter value we have seen the number now let's see what is available here so let's expand attributes and uh, let's uh, come down come down to query parameter here if you can see contact equal to clarity demo so it is successfully uh, grabbed the query parameter value so let's hit next see now you can you can see a red dotted line here because an error is occurred an exception is occurred because it should uh, it is expecting uh, integer value but now we are receiving we are receiving this value characters alphabet new alphabets values it is expecting number value see clark demo is not a valid integer value that is your error okay let's see now if any error occurred in your uh, flow it will highlight that uh, component with the red dotted line so now the error is occurred at this validation module here so next processors next uh, uh, components will not execute now now the flow will start here uh, stop here flow execution will stop here it will send error response that is the um, actually uh, process of error handling okay but we have not add, added any error handling here and you have to observe one more thing before we discuss that see earlier uh, for success response if you can see uh, then details here available is uh, is number attributes correlation id payload root where and all there is no error object here we have already discussed right whenever an error is occurred then only error object is getting created right so now the error is occurred here in this validation module that is why error object is created if you can expand this you will see all the details here so what is the error so error dot description if you remember in our previous slides we can treat this as error dot description like that you can read so what is the error description you can see the value here clear demo is not a valid integer value so that is error you need to send an integer value for this query parameter but you send clot demo which is the not an integer value that is your error so we have we should uh, see another type uh, another error 
I mean another field of error object we should focus on two fields right we already discussed it description and error type so what is the error type expand this see every error type will have namespace and identifier we discussed it earlier right so here what is the namespace validation identifier invalid number so by using the namespace you can understand uh, where the error is i mean which connector is through the error so now validation connector is throwing the error so that is why namespace is validation so you, by this you can understand validation module is throwing error that's fine so identifier what is the type of error invalid number so by this you can understand you have sent an invalid number that is not a valid number which is expecting by the particular connector okay so these are all the details available for error object and we have already we have again uh, seen a detailed error message right so see detailed description now as this is a simple error it is description and detailed description both are same and it doesn't have any uh, mule message because everything is uh, a simple one you can just uh, see that but we see payload is null because we are not sending any uh, request payload this is a get method right so this is how you can uh, actually and you will see uh, another detail also okay so error hand wh where the, what is the line number if uh, the error is uh, generated you can see the error handling demo.xml so this is the file name you can see error handling demo.xml this is the file name what is the line number the error is through because this is your simple flow so you can you will have only a uh, few lines few 30 to 50 lines of code but in your real time projects you will have a lot many number of uh, lines of code hundreds 200 300 lines of code will be there so in that case it will be useful for you to uh, debug your application to get back and to see where the error is occurred exactly so here the 15 the number is nothing but line number if you can see here just to go little up see this is a line number 15 right so validation is number so this component is generated error so you will find all the required details in this error object only thing is you need to just expand all these things you need to run this in debug mode uh, you need to observe all the details available in this error object so that you will find all the required information which will be very useful for you to understand uh, what is the error and how you can handle the error. Okay. So now this is uh, execute, I mean uh, this is thrown an error, right? So let's go to next processor. But in, if uh, any error is occurred in the flow, next processor will not execute in general. So when you click on next processor, earlier in success case, it is the control is moved to transform message. Blue dotted line, black dotted line is there, jump to this one, right? But now the error is occurred, it should not execute. So let's click, see the execution is stopped. The control is not moved to the next processor. So this is how error will behave. But now we don't have any code anything under this error handling section so what the response you get in your postman let's see what we get in postman let's go back to our postman see you got the response like clap demo is not a valid integer value this is the error you received from mulesoft and the status is 500 server error see but we, we have not uh, we have not um, i mean read any error handling code we have not handled any error so how this response uh, you will get how mulesoft sent this response so that is the thing you need to focus on for this video because if you don't write any error handling uh, details if you are not going to handle anything manually by your end mulesoft will use default error handler so mulesoft will apply default error handling strategy uh, which is the application level strategy which we have discussed already okay application level error handling strategy let me open that uh, ppt for you uh, to uh, understand little better so we have different error handling strategies available right so uh, here yeah if you can see this is the default error handler strategy so we have just seen default error handling strategy which means if you didn't uh, write anything if you don't have uh, any error handling if you don't have any error handling code uh, here in your flow or in your entire application mulesoft will automatically apply default error handling strategy and it will send error description by default this is the error description we have uh, there a class demo is not a valid integer you have seen the same text here 
sorry it were now that it is uh, completed right so, so see uh, you can just uh, check this in console so message this is a error description clear demo is not a valid integer value this is the error dot description so where this is there so in listener if you can go to listener go to uh, responses okay so this is success response it will send a payload just scroll down see here error response section is there by default mule soft will add error dot description here we have not added this we just drag and drop the http listener and we have uh, configured port and path that's it we didn't touch anything here as of now so if you can observe by default error response is error dot description which is available in your error object which is clear uh, demo is not a integer value this is your error description so by default mule soft will apply default error handling strategy if you didn't write any error handling code here if you are not handling any error here i hope you understand the default error handling strategy so let's see how we can handle these type of errors manually by adding code into this error handling section that's it for this video uh, please do practice and let's uh, meet in another video